Today, 310 million miles from Earth, the comet chasing Rosetta orbiter detached its landing probe and made history by actually touching down and landing on a moving comet hurtling through space. Humans landed a human engineered piece of machinery on a moving three mile rock in space. I don't think the amazingness of this moment can be overstretched. The 220 pound lander detached and snapped this pic of its mothership before free falling at a rate of three feet per second onto comet 67P. It was a very tense seven hour descent. Watching the live feed was a nail biter for all of us onlookers gawking at our computers, even though it was just a bunch of scientists also gawking at a bunch of computers waiting for data to beam back to Earth. But then the lander itself tweeted, my new address, 67P. And then the Rosetta mission Twitter tweeted, touchdown. And then the European Space Agency tweeted, receiving signals from surface of comet. It's just all so cool. Look how happy all these guys are. This was 10 years in the making, people. And now that the lander is officially harpooned into 67P, as a means to anchor it to the surface, it will get its science on by drilling into the comet to extract samples from inside a comet to test for chemical and physical properties. Scientists are hoping to understand more about the composition of comets as well as how they're affected by solar winds. Guys, we sent a thing that humans built with their hands millions of miles away into space and landed it on a comet. And now we'll drill into a comet for science. Just let that sink in. Feels real good. I mean, I had nothing to do with it, but it feels real good. It's a lesson for all you kids out there on you can do what you want with a little bit of stick to itiveness -ness. The Rosetta Mothership will continue to orbit 67P on its journey toward the sun, keeping a loving eye on its adorable probe baby. Astronomy expert at Nottingham Trent University, Daniel Brown said, Although we have landed on planets, moons, and asteroids, it has never been attempted for a nucleus of a comet. And with good reason. These objects have a very low gravity, are loosely composed of ice, dust, and rocks, and are very irregular in shape. They are temperamental in their behavior and notoriously difficult to predict. Apart from the amazing scientific results, the sheer challenge and ambition of such a mission is outstanding and illustrates how our space exploration of the solar system has become more advanced and successful. It gives us much to hope for in future missions. I love it! But what do you guys think? Let me know all your thoughts and feelings and heart stuff in the comments down below. And after you're done with that, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and click the annotation for more SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. Keep dreaming. Don't stop dreaming. I'll go. Okay, okay, uh, update, update. So the uh, harpoons actually did not fire out of the lander, but but they're trying to figure out why that happened and they're going to try to refire them. But in the meantime, it is still safely on the comet and it is being harnessed to it with its ice pick like legs. So it's still streaming data. It's still sending it back. It's still there. Uh, for more updates, go to sourcefed.com. God, this is stressful. <laughs>